Pego has a sort of trap door hole situation happening, which would trap air, which would make them buoyant. So it would make them what? Bu- buoyant, buoyant, buoyant. How do you pronounce that? <laughs> I would say buoyant, but also I know Americans get made fun of for the way that we pronounce buoy, um, instead of boy. Which is so, how... boy- so buoyant is a thing that people are going to not make fun of anyone for. See, this buoyant, is the problem with yeah. being Canadian on the internet is that you see people making fun of Americans and half the time you get to join in and half the time you have to quietly withdraw. Mm-hmm. So when it's like, yeah, you know, these people don't have health care and love guns. You're like, yeah, that's that mm-hmm. dumb as hell. And then when they're like, yeah, these uh, people are uh, like... They have, oh, what's the thing that we do They're the same? Racist like, and oh, they've got all their land got, from the Native yeah. Americans. Or they've got this tipping culture and I'm like, who, hey, who, 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 who. <laughs> and then, But then you run into things when someone from Australia is like, what's up with Americans, like the level of water in their toilet? And I'm like, hmm, I don't know. I don't know where I stand on this. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, and the sugary enough. bread, too. I couldn't figure that one out. I'm still a little unsure. I think we have American-style toilets, and I think we have American-style bread, I think. Bread as in, like, like just normal? Yeah, like, apparently like American bread? bread is very sugary, and people who well, that was the thing. like... Wasn't that the whole thing? That was the whole thing recently with Subway, how their bread can't technically, like, scientifically be classified as bread because there's too much sugar in it. I don't know if there's a scientific classification of bread. Sorry, I think it where would we're, be. we're I think trying it would to be. describe how Pego floats. <laughs> the genus, the genus bread. Um, <laughs> yeah. I am detecting that this light source is at only five degrees Celsius and at 80% bluntness. <laughs> Do with that information what you will. Let's see. Five degrees Celsius is like four. Oh God! Four yeah, right. degrees Fahrenheit. This is one of those things 45? where you jump very yeah. aggressively on board against. Yeah, what the fuck is with those people? And they're yeah, stupid people 40 degrees. degrees Fahrenheit. Okay. Yeah. Don't get into any other measurements because I went to the doctor today and they're like, "Yeah, you're 85 kilograms," and I'm like, oh, "I really should have internalized what that means," but <laughs> I kind of. I kind of needed in pounds. <laughs> so Canada operates kind of on like a mix of the two. We operate on the only possible thing worse than the imperial system, which is an inscrutable hybrid of the imperial and metric <laughs> systems where you walk 10 feet and drive 10 kilometers because that's just how it operates. Yeah. And also it depends how old you are because I had someone tell me recently, it's like, yeah, like you just go to the thing. It's like two miles down the road. I'm like, what the fuck is a mile? But that's what fifty year olds know. And I, uh, I've lost my train of thought. I'm just Perfect. so angry about the metric system. 